Welcome, YouTube world. Super excited to tell you that in NHL 20, Legends slash Alumni players are available for offline play. No catch, nothing. In franchise mode and season mode, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's so simple, but then I, I want to show you how to do it, but also prove to you that it works. So we're going to go to rosters. That's the first thing you're going to want to do. Once you go to roster, go to player movement at the top right. Now, I'll just hide my face for a moment. I'm going to tab over here. This is like your actual team on the right. So I am going to choose Pittsburgh Penguins as an example. And as you can see, we've got Wayne Gretzky, Patrick Roy, Mario Lemieux, Cordy Howe, Joe Sackick, Jeremy Ager. These are the real players. It's not me just creating a player with their name. It's There's the actual picture. Like he's actually, hey, he's actually there. And now I'm gone. So these are the real deal. Okay. What you want to do is just go to the left here and simply hit the button prompt. For me, it's L2, so LT on an Xbox. And then you just hit up. Now you have Alumni All Time and Association. Association is simply going to also include players that have a lower overall rating. That's it. If you go to all time, you're going to have a smaller selection because it's going to be your higher tiered players. So we'll just go with all time for now. And as you can see, Gretzky. Now you might say to yourself, hey, I thought you copied Gretzky over. Right, I did. But between that, you've got these teams here. Look at the prompt at the top right. Right there. Sorry, the camera's reversed right there. And you've got the four teams. If I go to all-time grit, you'll notice that Gretzky's no longer there at the top of the list. That's because I took the all-time grit Gretzky. So there's going to be more than one of each, right? So if I wanted to, I could, uh, sorry, I could grab a second Gretzky. Anyhow, you would simply click on a name, select, for me it's square, look at the prompt at the bottom. Just like that, and then I would click X to finish, or B on an Xbox, I believe, and it would simply move the player over. It's just that simple. You just, yeah, like how you do for any other team. The difference is this year it allows you to choose uh, the NHL alumni, which I don't think you could do before. That's what everybody was uh, complaining about before. This is like a huge, huge deal. And then after that, I'm going to show you that in season mode, Obviously, we've got our active roster, as you can see. We're going to go to Season Mode. And we're going to continue. This is just to, like, show you that it actually carries over to the game mode. Because the amount of players that you have... See? Look. As an example, Edit Lines. Okay. There's my Line 1. We've got Lemieux... Gila Fleur, Jaeger, like these are the real, ah, I keep doing it, these are the real people, like it's, I'm just blown away, this is what we always wanted to begin with, but we weren't given it, and it wasn't like we were asking for much, but, well, these aren't legends, I mean, they will be in the making, but I'm just saying, anyways, so that's in season mode, we're going to exit out of there, exit without saving, so I showed you that it works in season mode. Now we're going to go to franchise mode. Obviously it works in play now because in NHL 19 I think that was the only way that you could use them. Or in hut. Now you don't have to play hut because I don't play online. And even offline hut is kind of eh. Having to do all that grind and then just to potentially borrow a player. Bitch I don't want to borrow. I, I want to own the person. I want to own them. Well now you can. Every single legend is at your disposal. Uh, it's just amazing. It's basically, essentially, doing what NBA 2K has been allowing you to do forever. Right? See? Again, we're in franchise mode. and See, I got it right this time. And uh, there they are. Just like that simple. It's just I am so, so excited. I just can't even tell you. So now what we're going to do, now that we're like five minutes in, and I've explained and showed that, 
little bonus footage. I am going to play a game, but I'm only going to play one period. And I'm probably not going to talk. As a matter of fact, I've done enough talking. I think I might actually even just mute my microphone, to be quite honest with you. I just want to give you that experience because for people that know me, I do a lot of talking. And I know that's going to drive some people crazy and some people won't mind because, you know, good for me. I've got almost 1,500 subscribers, so clearly those people don't mind too much. So I am going to, for now, just do that. We're simulating up to that day. Sorry, there, play the game. Or sorry, I might talk a little bit, but I'll try to keep it minimal. Sorry, just trying to think here. CPU versus CPU, no. We want to... Trying to think of what jerseys I want to use. And we'll do red for them. across the blue line. Here's the chance. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. Swabs right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Washington's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Rocked on the play. As the coach told us before the game, they want to set a physical tone. There's a good hit early. Nice pass. Here's a rocket of a shot. Comes up with the stop. Hammers a shot and he scores. What a shot. The goalie just can't keep up to this, James. The pass is in the wheelhouse, and he hammers it past the goalie into the net. The Penguins 
Saints have drawn first blood here in the opening frame. Relatively early first goal puts them in a nice spot here, moving into the last half of the period. Scored by number 68, Takes the feed. Oh, did he eat that hit? This is a good time to be retired. Gets in front of it. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Stopped by the goaltender. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. More than half the period left to play. Pittsburgh's ahead, 1-0. Backstrom's won it off the faceoff. Slides the pass over to Ovechkin. Quick feed to Backstrom. Gives it right back. Slides it diagonally to Backstrom. Sends it in on the attack. Finds some space in the corner. Takes the hit. He goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Hammers the shot. And that goes off a player in front. Quick feed down low. Jagger's dangerous and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. Denied by the defender. Stopped by the goaltender. Spectacular desperation play. Save made by the goalie. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes a count. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. <laughs> Pittsburgh's found themselves in the driver's seat now with a two-goal lead. Nice offensive start. Really good start. Really quick. Now you've got the other team scrambling around, but there's too much time left in the game to sit back and try to defend it. Be aggressive. Big save by the goaltender. Plays the puck up ahead. Sends it over. Denies him with the save. I love these second looks at this. You see the player transfer his weight, hammer the slapper. But the goalie makes the save. In the final moments of this period, Pittsburgh's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And that's blocked. And he gets the puck right back. Well, that'll get a response. That's generally a no-fly zone with star players. Yeah, they get hit like that. Somebody's going to get irritated. And guess what happens when they get irritated? They that's right. I had to say something. You're going down, Ovechkin. Oh! These two teams going at it here. No, they don't like each other, and we, we knew it was going to be a pretty heated game. Carlson with the TKO. Things got pretty quiet here when the decision was pretty clearly to the road team. Oh, wow, those gloves went flying. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. Aww. Oh. The Penguins have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Washington's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Rocks him. Here's a short pass to Orlov. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Moves the puck. Rips it from the point. Makes the save. Quick pass to Latang. And now it's grabbed by Lafleur. They've got numbers. Sends it across. He scores. Uh, now they can go into this intermission, James. They gotta feel great about themselves. They tally so late in this period. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. It's been the better team here in the late stages of this first period. More shots, more goals. Simple as that. Ellers, one possession. Works it across to Kempney. 
Here's a blast! Oh, what a stop! The first frame is complete as the horn sounds, ending the first 20 minutes of play. Lots there we of go. Fans all coming from one side. It is three nothing through the first period. So anyhow, that shows you a little bit of gameplay there. Some bonus footage there. What I did want to mention. Is that you'll notice same thing every single year. The goalies. Okay. They still have their equipment from their original team. Players, they don't do that. So when I brought over uh, Jaeger to the Penguins or anybody else that was on a different team, their gloves, their helmet were the proper colors to the team that they moved to. But for whatever reason, you could even see it in the preview under the letter E there. If you look very closely, he's got... I uh, uh, can't remember what uh, team that is, but their helmet, their gloves, their pads are from the other team. You might have noticed my hockey sticks were all edited. Uh, you can edit uh, your players. So I did that for like all their hockey sticks, their uh, skate, blade, guard, color, or whatever it's called. So you can edit the uh, Legends or any player for that matter. And their stats and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And I'll make sure when you play, you get like five Tai Domies that you're going to face off against. Then they're all going to take you out. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean obviously that would be great. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care boys and girls and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.